What's up guys, Gray here. Welcome back to another Destiny 2 video. Today's video is gonna be sort of a follow-up video to my Cartesian coordinate testing from the other day. If you haven't checked out that video, feel free to go and do so. But to summarize, in that video, we definitively proved that Cartesian coordinate is the highest damage legendary rapid fire fusion rifle in the game. Cartesian with Vorpal weapon will out damage a null composure any day of the week. So we did that initial testing and I figured all was well and good. Well, I was wrong. In that test, we saw a Cartesian coordinate with a seven round magazine and Vorpal weapon pull way ahead of null composure in total damage across multiple magazines. Now this is great, it proves the point that Cartesian is the best option, but with all the fusion rifle reworks this season, a ton of the fusion rifle weapon perks were changed. Things like accelerated coils or liquid coils were changed to be more of a benefit than a detriment to your weapon. On top of this, the charge time masterwork was also changed so that it doesn't negatively affect your weapon anymore. A lot of this has to do with the way Bungie changed the bolt pattern slash the amount of bolts and the way the damage is spread across those bolts now. Unfortunately, accelerated coils, liquid coils, and the charge time masterwork don't quite reflect their updated values in game yet. Hopefully Bungie updates this at some point, but for now, we needed to figure out what the absolute optimal god roll on Cartesian would actually be. I got so many comments on that original video asking, accelerated versus liquid coils, what about enhanced battery or ionized battery for their 8 mag potential? So my clan and I got back together to do some more testing so that we could finally have a definitive answer for ourselves and for me to be able to share that information with you. Real quick guys, I will add, this has been quite the little number crunching experiment, all in the pursuit of destiny knowledge, so if you guys find the information helpful, do me a favor and hit that like button below as it's a free way to support the channel and the video, and consider subscribing if you want to see more content like this. Alright, let's talk numbers. The best perks on this thing might actually surprise you. So we tested a variety of roles last night across all of our clan members. We tried to get numbers on the roles that matter so that you know how to best optimize yourself depending on the perks on your Cartesian. It's pretty straightforward, so let's just take a look at the numbers here. The first question we asked was, with the absolute max magazine size of eight, what perk was better, Vorpal weapon or high impact reserves? Which one scales better and gives more damage? It's simple, and this is the truth for everything going forward. Vorpal weapon is the best possible option. In our tests, we use a well of radiance and particle deconstruction. An eight round magazine Cartesian coordinate with Vorpal weapon dealt 474,000 damage. An eight round magazine Cartesian with high impact reserves dealt just 444,000 damage. That's a difference of 30,000 damage in just one magazine and proves that Vorpal weapon is the best perk option in that column. Now notice that I mentioned eight round magazine in those last tests. There are two perks that can give Cartesian an eight round magazine, ionized battery and enhanced battery. The only difference, at least for Cartesian, is that ionized battery gives minus 18 to your reload stat. Ideally, you would want enhanced battery to bump up that mag size to eight with no negative drawbacks. Now I hear the questions already. My Cartesian has liquid coils or my Cartesian has accelerated coils. Is this still good? Is it better than null? As long as you have Vorpal Weapon, the answer is maybe. Having accelerated or liquid coils is not inherently a bad thing. It's just that having that eight round magazine from ionized or enhanced battery provides much more total damage output up front. Let's touch on accelerated coils and liquid coils real quick. Accelerated coils reduces your charge time, but also slightly reduces your total damage. Liquid coils increases your charge time and also increases your damage. Neither of these options are gonna be able to outdo the eight round magazine damage, but we can still talk about them because we found some interesting things. With accelerated coils and Vorpal weapon, Cartesian dealt 415,000 damage across its seven round mag. With liquid coils and Vorpal weapon, Cartesian dealt 433,000 damage across its seven round mag. 
This shows us that liquid coils does provide a noticeable damage increase over accelerated coils. Technically, it's a question of damage per second versus total damage output, but we were really looking at total damage output as these numbers will only become further apart as the boss fight continues. For clarity, accelerated coils gives a time to empty of 6.2 seconds versus liquid coils time to empty of 7.1. It's a noticeable difference. However, it doesn't really result in more damage. You might be able to empty your mag a little bit faster if you have accelerated, but it's really not going to make it any better than any other option. With all of this knowledge now, we can finally nail down the absolute god roll for Cartesian coordinate. Let's take a look at D2 Gunsmith where we can build these weapons out in real time and see them in front of us. We will talk about the absolute perfect eight round mag god roll, as well as what you would want if you didn't get that eight round mag from ionized or enhanced battery. So the absolute top tier god roll for Cartesian coordinate will look like this. In this first column, you're gonna want red dot micro as it provides a nice chunk of base stats, but really this doesn't matter too awful much. It's not gonna make or break anything here. So don't worry about the site too much. In the second column, we ideally want enhanced battery. This will bump us up to that eight round magazine with no negative drawbacks, but don't be too upset if you get ionized battery. It's the same effect, just with a little drawback to reload speed. Again, the best option here is enhanced battery. Now the third column is kind of free. Personally, I would go with under pressure as the weapon will simply just get easier to control as you get lower in the mag. You could certainly go with something crazy like slideways or really any perk in this column. It's not gonna affect your damage output. Now finally, in the fourth column, there is only one option and that is Vorpal Weapon. It's the absolute best perk for PVE and beats out high impact reserves in every test. When it comes to the masterwork, in a perfect world, you will want a charge time masterwork. I know this used to be seen as a detriment to your fusion rifle as it does reduce your damage slightly, but after the reworks, it's so minuscule that the pros far outweigh the cons. Don't be upset if you don't land that charge time masterwork as it really only increases your DPS ever so slightly, but reload speed would probably be the second best option. Of course, you're gonna wanna use boss spec at all times if you're in a raid, but feel free to swap to whatever best suits your needs at any other time. If you're running nightfalls, you might put on major spec for some champions and things like that. So swap it around if you need to. And then of course, between accelerated or liquid coils, I would have to recommend liquid coils as this boosts your damage up considerably versus accelerated coils. And if you do have a charge time masterwork as well, the negatives are completely offset. Just food for thought if you don't have one of those eight round magazine perks. And that will conclude the epic saga of the Cartesian coordinate guys. Having that eight round magazine paired with Vorpal weapon is very powerful. And this is the way you would want to build it ideally. Again, you can farm this from the Season of the Splicer Umbral Engrams, so get after it. And also, I can hear the comments already, people asking, why would you use this over things like 1K or Sleeper when those are so much stronger right now? And I hear you, but it really doesn't work out that way all the time. Imagine the Prophecy boss, for instance, the Kel Echo. If you're really melting him, you will be completely out of heavy ammo before he even teleports once leaving you with nothing but a special weapon. That is where Cartesian comes into play. It's worth knowing as this is gonna be a six month season and you may wanna snag this weapon so that you have the top performing dog in the ring until Witch Queen. I just wanted to do a follow-up video from my test the other day. I know I made a mistake or two in that video, but it really didn't affect the end result. After doing some more testing just last night, these are the definitive roles that you will wanna go after for PVE this season. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. Good luck hunting those god rolls and I will see you next time.